Oh yeah, gotta get a little bit of that morning air. I like to come outside. It's not gonna be above freezing again today. So uh, we're gonna do a little unboxing of what I got from the Raleigh show. The granddaughter's here. One of my two granddaughters, my youngest one, Lakeland. The wife's in there and the house is a wreck. So I'm gonna have to help with her. So today we're just gonna be talking about what we got from the Raleigh show since we got some weather, we got some family. Let's go inside. What are you doing, Lakeland? Say hello. Hey, you got your princess dress on? You're sure pretty girl. Say hello, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but I do like a good glass of milk first thing in the morning. Uh, you guys don't get to see her enough. Here's a little Miss Bass Geek. She just made us some uh, sausage and uh, biscuits, uh, egg biscuits, and uh, so I am stuffed full. And of course, here is our mean little granddaughter. Oh, there she is, little Miss Lakeland Grace. Now this is my daughter's oldest. My daughter just gave me a grandson, too, so I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Mrs. Baskey. Can I have a sugar? Mwah, thank you very much. So now let's go in here and let me show you what uh, what I actually picked up and spent my money on at uh, the Raleigh show. Say bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 All right, geeks, let's talk about what we got from the Raleigh show. So I didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff, but I always like to find some stuff that I like to use combined with some stuff that is really unusual and could be something very different to show the bass. Now, I always say about these small shows, right? And I, we can give all kinds of examples from the Gary Yamamoto Cinco. I mean, when that thing first come out, who would have thought it would have been what it was? It was a do nothing turd of a bait looking thing. To the chatterbait, you know, as much as we all like Z-Man, Z-Man didn't invent the chatterbait. They bought it from a guy who used to go to shows and sell it just like these. So that's why you need to go out there and the strangest things that you find are what you need to buy because you go out and you find a jig with a weird looking blade on it. How many people walk by that going, that's a gimmick, that's dumb. Who puts a weird looking blade like that on a jig? That'll, that's just a gimmick. Well, those are the things you wanna go looking for. So we look for that sort of stuff, that sort of innovation from these individual bait makers, because a lot of times that's the innovation that change the, changes the direction of the industry and the big companies just buy that stuff up. I mean, that's the honest truth. Now, all that being said, we did find a few things like that, but we also did find some things that are pretty interesting in the sense of you know, things that I just need more of. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna need more of anything or things that I want to try. Now, in the sense of things I need more of and I wanna try, we're gonna start out with a reel that I picked up. Now, this is one thing, you can go to these shows and get some pretty good deals on some reels. And I need a few more spinning reels, uh, spinning rods. I know love or hate live scope, the spinning rod is kind of, the way it works for me i've always been a power fisherman so i've got a blue billion different rods and reel combos for power fishing but this past year i've had to pick up a lot of spinning rods and so i just i've never had a whole lot of those you know enough to get by with but uh i picked up one of these so this is favorites um rush spinning reel I've never used anything by favorite so never had one in my hand 
and so I figured I would try this. This is a this is like their higher end, and uh, I think it retails for 150. I don't remember the deal I got on it, but I think I got like maybe 25, like 125 or something like that. Maybe even cheaper than that. But uh, it's a good looking reel. You know, I picked it up and you know gave it a shot. I'm not going to put it together here, but you know, a good looking reel. Figured I'd give that a a try and uh, see how it goes. It it seems heavy duty it's a 2500 generally i like the 300 3000 series reels uh because i i do use fluorocarbon a lot uh and i'll use a little more than a liter most of the, most of the time so you know i figured this was one of the first things i'll give a shot to if you guys have tried or used any of the favorite stuff out there or this particular one let me know because honestly I know nothing about it. Next up, I want to give a big shout out to Skyline Marine for hosting me down there. They're a Camus boat dealer. They've got two different locations or three, I'm not even sure, but they are a very big boat dealer. I mean, everything from pontoons and ski boats to Falcons and of course my favorite, Camus boats. So if you're in that area or you're in my area, you know, Northeast Tennessee, Virginia, North Carolina, go check them out. Of course, there'll be links to all this stuff, including Skyline. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, go check them out. They're a really cool shop. What I like about them from meeting their owner is that they're just dudes. So they pride themselves on relationships with their customers. They're not really big into, you know, advertising and, you know, a bunch of hoopla. They're just dudes. And that's what I like about them. So, uh, I hope I get to know them a little bit better over the next few years. Uh, but I, that's what I like about them. Like, they're just straight up and that's what I really like. All right. So, they do sell some bait and tackle, not just boats. And so... They had a couple of things in there and some things that I want to get a few more of. I've got a couple right now, but I picked up some of the Shimano. These are the flash boosts. These are their jerk baits. These are the deeper diving jerk baits. And what I love about these jerk baits is that they move when they're sitting still. I don't know if you can see it, but they've got that little flash inside. And during the winter time, what makes that so great is that that bait, you can twitch, twitch and pause that bait, let it set right there and it's still got something to cause a reaction strike. So I'm super excited about trying these. Now, color wise, uh, these are suspenders. This is Ghost AU, big time color for me right there. Good looking smallmouth color right here. It's got a little bit of purple in it. You know, it's got a little bit of uh, sartreuse on that head. This one's literally called Sartreuse Head. I don't know much about Sartreuse Head, but we're going to find out a little bit about it. And this is called Pink Smelt, another good color for wintertime smallmouth and spot. Now, they had something else that uh, I couldn't, couldn't wait to try and get a hold of. This is kind of a square bill, sort of a wake bait from Jackal. It's called the Blast Bone Junior. A little bit smaller bait, but it's still going to call them up. I love to fish this type of bait over top of those laydowns and just work it real slow and tick it. But uh, good looking bait right here. Pin Stop Dog Walking Specialized Swim Bait. So I can't wait. If you guys have tried these, I've heard they're real good. Uh, I have not tried one yet. This is the Natural Okawa. But a good looking little bait. Can't wait to get out there and try that out. Now, this is the Shaker Z, not the Heavy Z, but just love that color. It's a great looking color, and I think it's going to catch me a bunch of fish. Profound Outdoors, good looking color right there. Like I said, that is the Casper Shad, so big fan of that. And then my Heavy Z, love to get this down deep. This thing is in a half ounce body. It's three eighths ounce bait, and I love these things. You can hear they've got good, loud rattles in them but uh, this is the spring fling color 
Got to have a good red one, especially in this clear water. I'm fishing, man. Get that thing down there deep to them. And uh, it's showtime. Now, you guys can see Big Daddy hooked me up with a shirt. I've uh, been using a lot of his A-Rigs here lately, along with a few other things. And uh, went by his booth, and he hooked me up with some of these. And I'm going to butcher the size. I think it's these are the Shaky Ned heads. So it's like a Shaky Ned combination. Good looking little baits. Love the screw lock on them. You know, you can use those bigger Neds. And uh, this is a 3 8 ounce, I believe it is. They come in the one quarters. And my favorite for a Shaky or Ned in the spring is, of course, the one eighth. So what I love about this is this really works on some finesse style worms or your big TRD style worms. So a good little head sets up good, really good design. Love the twist lock on there. Makes it uh, pretty easy. And so big shout out to Big Daddy's Baits, guys. Make sure you go check them out. You geeks absolutely know I'm a big jig fan. And I run into one cast fishing who had a booth down there and these are snagless jigs. So they've got an EWG on them. <clears throat> and what I like the most, this is the football style, basically Texas rig your plastic trailer up on here. So you can drag this through all kinds of stuff and not get hung. It's gonna be super weedless. They've got casting jigs, they've got flipping jigs made this way. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Pick me up a three quarter ounce green pumpkin and a three quarter ounce uh, blue magic, which uh, basically is like a green pumpkin. Got a little bit of brown in there and got that little bit of blue in there, which is a great, great color this time of year for me. But one of the things that I really like, and I picked up a couple of different sizes, the four aught and the five aught, and this is gonna be for a couple of different worm styles and techniques that I wanna try out off the cuff, but uh, we'll, I'm gonna try them out. You know, I don't keep secrets from you guys for long, right? You know, I don't keep secrets for you geeks for long, but these are called long necks from one fit, from uh, one cast fishing. And uh, they're the long neck hook. I got a five out and I got a four out. And I got some really, really cool ideals for these bad boys. That might be uh, pretty interesting if it works out. So I would love to find a finesse style version of this. I think that would be incredible so next up we've got faithful baits about three of these particular baits i'm going to show you next so i got a free pack of swim baits for free so they had a good little deal going down there another reason why you should go to these stores you'll get a ton of good free gear but here's what i did pick up this is called the headache jig and what i love about this is it comes with worm you can put a bigger or smaller one in there all yourself it comes with a trailer but you put the worm through the head so it's called a headache jig and you've got a wacky rigged worm right in the head in this hole in this head so it's a really neat bait that stands up that's what i like about it that's what the worm does for it so it's really really different i can't wait to get out there and throw this and see how it works this is uh, i think it was just a green pumpkin camo crawl actually and then I picked up a couple of green pumpkins. That was a one uh, half ounce, and then a one half and a three eighths in good old green pumpkin. You know, hard to beat that kind of color this time of year. But man, I'm really excited to try like a couple of different colors on the worm side of things and change it up and kind of the trailer and the worm. I think you could really do some really unusual things with this type of jig, you know, from you know, putting a little different color in the worm to, and and maybe do, going crazy on the, the trailer side of it. So this is a, a little bait that gives you a lot of diversity. You know, you don't even have to put a worm in it, for example. You can do a lot of different things. These are the types of baits that you get out there and you find only in these local shows. So big out to Faithful. Now, Folks, Custom, if you haven't heard a lot about that, I'm a big fan. He's a custom crankbait painter. Does a great job. Probably one of the best in the nation. 
uh, he kind of walked up to me. He knows how much I like the scope. And he was like, hey, man, I found these little quarter ounce tail spinners over there. Now, speaking of tail spinners, I'm a big fan of the Booger Spin by Big Daddy Baits. But these are little ice jigs. And I really think as the bass start to come back up out of the depths, which they're like 70, 80 feet down right now, these right here may pick off some of these. These were just on one of those bargain stores. I don't even remember where it was, but he told me about them. So I went over and picked me up a couple. The Cellulus Big Ripper, quarter ounce there and a Sartreuse. Uh, this is kind of a bone, but it glows, which I think might be a, a good color. Sort of a little gold color. And this has got to be a smallmouth destroyer right here. That is purple glow. Be something fun to throw at these smallmouth bass uh, and even some largemouth bass as they're out there suspended up this year. You'll kind of notice that that's kind of a theme for me right now. It's, uh, you know, getting better with my forward facing sonar, whether that be seeing fish on the bank or wherever. It just, it's how the game is being played right now, gentlemen. Now going right back to that same sort of deal, realistically, you know, we've got a couple of things here from Deep Creek Lures. Uh, a couple of different baits. This is the Gobi Minnow. Now, I got it in pearl, it's a little bit longer, but I swear I think this will be a great bait for when, you know, you're you're using that forward facing sonar. Nice and long, good looking little bait right there. Again, that's in pearl. These little baits can be, a, you, you do a lot of different things from Ned rigging to putting them on the faithful jig. Uh, these are called float and catch. This is gold dust. I'm guessing these probably float. Uh, they're unscented. You get 10 in a bag but this is called gold dust. Same thing, the float and catch. This is white ice. This is emerald shad. And then we change over to something that's kind of like the old school spinnerbait trailers with the little twin tails. But this also might be something incredible on a little ball head. So this is the stinger and the color is wrath. And then this one I was really wanting to try and find in some sort of white because I really think this will be great. It'd be great on a drop shot. It's got some little flowy wings to it. Green Pumpkin Pro, this is called the Super Shot, but uh, just a great looking little bait right there. Probably reach out to them and try and get some more natural and some white colors on this one uh, after the fact because that may be incredible. Now, here's a swim bait by them, a soft plastic swim bait. So on the, on the bigger side, I've been wanting to pick some more of these up. I had one of you geeks give me a pack of these in Green Pumpkin, but I've been wanting something a little more natural uh, colors. And uh, so I'll pick some of these up. These are the Deep Creek Lures. This is a great color. It looks like it's a rainbow trout. And look at that tail, man. That is a true boot tail. It has a really big action on it. They show a couple of different ways to rig that. I can't wait just to put it on a, a ledge head and, and go to town on it. This one is translucent, and I really think this is going to shine. Maybe put just a little outline of sartreuse on the tail back here. But this, I think, is really going to shine during the bluegill spawn. And it's called Blue Smoke. Next up is something I am really crazily excited about. Kind of hate to show you guys this. And again, this goes back to those companies that innovate. Now, this is by a company. I'll tell you what. This is called The Nasty. And this is by a company, KC Marine Service. But this is called The Nasty. So it's a jerkbait crankbait hybrid but it is a stand on bottom bait now this has i don't know if you can see it or not a really unique you can see the weight in there when you go back and forth you can see it so it's got a casting system where it is going to cast a mile and i picked up several of these so this bait is basically going to stand on the bottom and you can just work it you can jerk it like a jerk bait you can you know crank it like a crank bait it's kind of a hybrid little bait but i think this is going to be a killer especially when you find those bass that are 
over on on the bank you know we found a ton of these type of places this year during the winter time down really deep and uh, so we just throw it out there let this thing stand on the bottom and you just barely twitch it and jerk it up but uh, it is I think going to be a real fun bait to fish and we've got several different colors but this color is kind of a gold we've got a little bit of purple translucent belly on it this is kind of a sexy shad a little bit more of a purple back on that than a blue back but a good looking shad pattern now i was assured this is the smallmouth killer now i don't there's not a lot of perch in the lakes i fish but this is kind of that broken up pattern really good looking color purple and kind of a, a sartreuse color this is a great color black back got that sartreuse belly silver sides always got to have your crawl color especially for something that's going to be on the bottom during the spring and last but not least a good looking what appears to be like a baby bass style color some really good looking colors there i cannot wait to get these out and try them out they look like they're made very well so make sure you go check out the nasty all right geeks that is it man we picked up some cool stuff from down there we got some good ideas some things we're going to try this year we're going to play around with this is why you go to your shows you know the next show of course is going to be the knoxville show i don't know if this video will be out before or after or during that show man that is a huge show if you've never been to the Knoxville Fishing Expo, I cannot stress to you enough, it is as big as a classic. I mean, it really is. It's the only thing, the classic is the only show that I know of that's slightly bigger. So if you wanna go find some really cool stuff, get down to the East Tennessee Fishing Show and Expo, you're gonna find some stuff that nobody else is throwing in your area, and you're gonna catch more fish. All right. Questions, comments in the comment section below. You geeks know I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell so you get these notifications when these uh, videos come out. Watching is the best way to support the channel. And you know I love hashtag 100% Watch Squad. 100% Watch Squad is Bass Geek, right? We're going to have to do something. You guys got some cool ideas for some uh, shirts for the 100% Watch Squad. You got to let me know. Uh, I'm not a very good creative guy like that. So 100% Watch Squad, I love you. I love all you geeks that tune in and watch. We got some really cool stuff. On to the next show. Come see me in Knoxville. You geeks rock.